Hello everyone! You may not know me yet, but soon you will. For I am your Tor in this game that is Stellaris. Now unlike the mo normal person who just plays the game like a strategy driven, you know, sci-fi game, I'm gonna play it as a utopian simulator. I thought to myself, what would the perfect utopian sci-fi empire look like? And so I'm doing my best to, you know, simulate just that. So I'm gonna walk you through some things. You got the core. The core is where everything's happening. You got your orbital artificial ecosystem right here. This planet's being turned into Gaia World very slowly but surely. Now, we got your Yggdrasil Orchid Complex over here, generating lots of food and science for the entire empire. And over here, we have Habitalis, a synth-grown planet. It's got some stuff going on. Our, our, our starting system, it's looking pretty good, you know, nice and balanced, but uh, oh well. Also over here we have the Mega Art Installation, a nice feature to the core system of the Empire. Over here we have just an encroaching meteor about to destroy civilization as we know it, but we don't really want to worry about that too much. Now I've gone and made every system, every planet in this system habitable, except for this one. I thought it would be very immersion breaking if you had a habitable planet inches from the sun. So aside from that, they're all habitable, they're all being terraformed into Gaia worlds. And uh, over here I guess there's also an asteroid headed straight for one of those planets that... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, I also made this moon shiny. So that's something I guess. Now, I've got some things over here. I did dedicate an entire system to military defense, I think I... So we got a lot of things going on here. Obviously... I have done max resources and instant build on because I just really want to get things going. I want to set things up exactly how I think the perfect empire would look and fill in the spots in between. So there's a lot of things in this empire, in this system that I, I think really just paints a picture of what the system is all about. You got your mega shipyard. It's got 20 bays for a maximum capacity of 20 ships being built at once. That's a lot at once. So we got a fully decked out star hold. Nice. It's for defending. Awesome. You know, nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. And over here, we have the equatorial shipyard. A shipyard built around an entire planet with people living on it. Pretty, uh, pretty dedicated to the whole foundry and fire thing. I like a nice thematic. We have our sentry array, which lets us see everything in the Empire. Not just the Empire, the galaxy. Our eyes see all. None can hide from us. And over here, I guess there's also a planet. But it's not just a planet. It's a planet with a precursor shield array. Nice stuff. Gives a good bonus. Doesn't really matter. I'm cheating anyways, but I like the aesthetic. I'm a sucker for that. What can I say? Now over here we have the Strategic Coordination Center. Now this place, it's, uh, it's, it's got some stuff going on. You know, lots of people in high places giving a lot of commands. They make sure everything in the Empire runs nice and smoothly. Same thing over here, but these train the ground forces, the Admiralty Operations. Oh yes, we have our Grand Fleet here. Pretty grand and a fleet. And we over here we have the Macro Engineering Testing Station. Now this thing, it's it's positioned right above this planet so it can fire experimental and highly dangerous munitions at the ground and see what happens. Because science.
that's about it. You know, I got some stuff going on. I think I might want to just uh, secure this this little slice of everything, you know? A nice slice, nothing large. They're uh, they're Grand Empire, but they don't have to have everything. And I, I like the nice icy blue I did with this. I am playing with a few mods, but okay, they're all they're all just broken in every way. Moving on. We have some things in our system. We have a, a archaeological dig site. I mean, you know, just the run-of-the-mill Stellar stuff. And I think every system I want to have a nice little theme. Uh, over here, I have built a Dyson Sphere. Which, you know, it was kind of already a bleak looking system as it was. You got a little cloud over there. That's nice. And the archaeological... Oh, that was for Gigastructural. It creates a black hole system. This one. Sometimes it spawns with the Event Horizon uh, offset facility, which is a nice boon. But ultimately, I'm going to make that anyways. But yes, a nice little Dyson Sphere to just say this system is small but powerful and it boons to the Empire. And also kind of just, you know, wanted to subjugate a star. No, I'm not really sure what I'll do with some of these other ones. This one could be a little asteroid manufacturer, you know, a system dedicated to the needs of the Empire. Maybe make that habitable, you know? Or maybe this one habitable. Fun plans, fun plans too. Ah, yes, and then we have these guys over here. Uh, this is Jared. The system's Jared. He's uh, He likes to say hi. He's got a, a promotion on a nice fresh sandwich for you. And we have a primitive world here. And in that primitive world lives the Mtak. You know, fun little lava creatures, I guess. Yeah, we got them there, and they're in the early space age, so they might just turn into a regular empire. But it's cool. They can have that space. They have got to space. They earned at least their system. You know, the Archon Empire is firm but fair in its rulings. And I guess we have a couple others. Not really sure what I'll do there. I might just invade the others. Those guys, they get to live. <laughs> now, we got some marauders here, but I'll make short work of them soon. I've got other marauders elsewhere, so I can still feel that aesthetic, you know? Marauders over here, of course. But I'm not going to really touch over there. Some stuff here. We got a fallen empire here. And you know what? They seem like chill dudes. They asked for me for a population. I said yes. And you know why? Because I know they're just looking out for people. They saw, thought to themselves, this guy's an idiot. He's going to kill them, themselves all. And we're just going to you know, save a slice of the pie. Just in case. I got to really respect that from them. Now... Moving on, there are just some general things I like doing in this, and I'll, I'll keep you updated on what I do. It's just a stupid little idea, but it's my idea. 